14 asks, which of the following compounds is achiral? In order for something to be achiral, it either has to have no chiral centers or it has to have some kind of internal symmetry where the chiral centers end up canceling out. So let's go through these one at a time. For A, where are the chiral centers? We're definitely trained to go, okay, there's a wedge bond, there's a dash bond, that's a potential chiral center. But looking at this here, what do we have? That carbon is attached to two identical methyl groups. So that's not a chiral center. Looking at this other carbon, this is also attached to two identical methyl groups. So that also is not a chiral center. Then looking at the central carbon, we really would be inclined to think that this is a chiral center because we see a bromine on a wedge bond. So we're definitely trained to think that. But do we have a chiral center? We have a bromine, we have an implied hydrogen, and then we have two identical isopropyl groups. If we have two identical isopropyl groups, that's not a chiral center. So what we conclude is there are no chiral centers on this molecule. If there are no chiral centers on the molecule, then necessarily that is a chiral. Let's quickly look at the other options to make sure that none of the other ones are achiral as well. Looking at this one here, what do we see? Right here we have a carbon, two identical methyl groups. That's not a chiral center, so not that one. What about here? This one works though. We have a bromine, we have a hydrogen, and then these two directions are different now because of the presence of this bromine atom right there. So this is a chiral center. Same here, this one is a chiral center as well. We have bromine, hydrogen, methyl, and the rest of the molecule. So we have two chiral centers right there. There is no plane of symmetry because we have a bromine on this side and not that side. That one is definitely chiral. For B, we have essentially the same situation. There's not too much difference here. This is going to be a chiral center because we have bromine, hydrogen, methyl, the rest of the molecule. This is going to be a chiral center because we have methyl, hydrogen, and then two directions. The other two directions are different because of the presence of that bromine. And then this carbon is not because we have two identical methyl groups. So here we do have two chiral centers and there is no internal symmetry. So that will also be chiral. Then looking at D, very clearly have one chiral center there because we have bromine, hydrogen, methyl, propyl. Those are four different groups. So we do have one chiral center. Anytime you have one chiral center, you do have a chiral molecule. You have that molecule and it's an antimer. C, B, and D are all chiral. It is A that is achiral because there are no chiral centers.